and rightly understand in what form they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Many signs and wonders were done among the people at the hands of the Apostles. They were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the others dared to join them, but the people esteemed them. Yet more than ever, Believers in the land, great numbers of men and women were added to them. Thus they even carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, so that when Peter came by, at least a shadow might fall on one or another of them. A large number of people from the towns in the vicinity of Jerusalem also gathered, bringing the sick and those disturbed by unclean spirits. And they were all cured. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the 
book of Revelation. I, John, your brother, who share with you the distress, the kingdom, and the endurance we have in Jesus, found myself on the island called Patmos, because I proclaimed God's word and gave testimony to Jesus. I was caught up in spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a voice as loud as a trumpet, which said, And I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands, one like the Son of Man, wearing an ankle-length robe with a gold sash around his chest. At his feet, as though dead. He touched me with his right hand and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, but now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. And what will happen afterwards? The word of the Lord. Thank you. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I sent you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive or forgiven them, and whose sins you retain or retain. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail mark, and put my hands into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. And bring your hand and put it into my sight. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord, my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. 
Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank you and welcome you all again to this Eucharistic celebration on the second Sunday of the Easter, which is the Divine Mercy Sunday. And today, all the scripture readings so uh, talks to us so profoundly and so powerfully about God's mercy. God's mercy, God's love, God's unconditional love, God's everlasting mercy that He pours out upon us. Easter is the time that revealed to us God's manifestation of His love and His mercy, especially by sharing His mercy to the disciples now you and I are the disciples and the Lord continues to manifest His love every single day. As we are living in this Easter season, you and I are come to embrace the love and the mercy of God. Jesus appeared to St. Faustina several times revealing God's mercy and He always told her, go and pray. Go and tell the people, especially tell my priest, tell my priest about God's mercy, God's everlasting mercy, the unconditional love. Tell all people that forgiveness is possible, that every single one can receive God's mercy and enter into eternity. Tell every priest that the sins that they forgive and confession will be blessed and they will be received to heaven. Ask every priest to be merciful. There are so many commands that, you know, uh, Jesus, you know, told to uh, Faustina, which has been an incredible blessing of this generation. Especially when we had the year of mercy, we spoke so much about that. That's why Pope Francis came out with a beautiful statement saying, Jesus is the face of God's mercy. Every time you and I come to the Holy Mass, you and I come to receive the Holy Sacrament, we come to receive the mercy of God. If God's mercy is not there, we will not be able to stand before you. None of us are perfect. None of us are worthy. But God allows us. God gives us opportunity after opportunity that we can get back on track. Sometimes, as human beings, we are hard-headed or stone-hearted. We wait until we go to the wrong part. But God's mercy does not wait for us. He kind of walks with us, He journeys with us, and gives a hand to us so that we may come closer to Him. St. Faustina in her diary writes so much about God's vision because her, as a teenage girl, she was ready to receive God's mercy. God appeared to her several times when she was a teenager. Even when she was in party, she will meet this guy and then the guy will look like Jesus. That will scare her to death, she will run away. When she goes to church and chapel to pray, and she will see only the image of Jesus, and she, she thought she's seeing a ghost, and she will run away. Even after joining the convent, because she could not resist the feeling that, you know, she has, that God is walking with her, God is always with her. She goes into meditation, and God will appear and talk to her daughter, listen to me, and she thought she's seeing something else, she will run away. And she would go to talk to the, 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 the mother superior and also to a priest and he'd say, next time, don't run. Stay, listen to Jesus. 
And Jesus will continue to talk to Faustina, I'm here. I'm here to reveal my mercy because there was a time, you know, people at the end of the Second World War, there was a time people are going crazy. People are going crazy about revenging, punishing, treating other people, other countries differently. So God revealed to Faustina to show this mercy. Although this divine mercy is introduced to the entire universal church since, since 1978, but we haven't gone so deeper until 2000. God is merciful and love. Sometimes we focus on how big sinner we are, but don't you ever forget God's mercy is bigger than your sins are. Sometimes we focus on our problems, our problems like the end of the world now. God's mercy, God's love, God's forgiveness is bigger than that. This Sunday is an opportunity for us to remember that. Let's think about the prodigal son. He had to wait until he went to the rock bottom. When he came back, what happened? He was saying, Father, forgive me. I sinned against God, I sinned against you. And I no longer deserve to be called to you. Son, treat me like one of your servants. The father did not even listen to him. Merely called the servers. My son was dead. Now he's alive. My son was lost. Now he's home. Let's party. Put the best, you know, cloth on him. That's how God is. That's why even Jesus said, many times Jesus has said, you know, there will be, there will be thousands of joy at the conversion of one sinner. We know we are all sinners. We are called to come closer to God's mercy. That's why the red talks about that. The red, the red rays that talks about the blood of Christ and the white one talks about God's mercy. The first thing that Jesus, when he appeared to the disciple Mary Magdala and the two disciples on the way to Emmaus and to the disciples and even to Thomas who could not just want to believe until he put the figure in the nail. Peace be with you. Do not be unbelieving. Believe. The mercy of God is not cheap, sisters and brothers. It needs a conversion of heart. It, it needs a total surrender to come closer to God's mercy and love. So I'm going to ask you what I learned a long time ago when I was in college, my teacher told us. I'm going to give you a homework, uh, dear, uh, dear students. The homework is, you need to go to any of the park or maybe in your own backyard or go to your own farmland because that is a farmland school. So you go look for a flower that has not been found by anybody. Maybe it, should be, it could be under a rock. Maybe it could be in the middle of the bushes. Go and look for the one that nobody has seen before you and bring it. Or, you know, write a poem about your experience about finding a beautiful flower, but yet it was hidden. Nobody has found it, nobody has enjoyed it, nobody has seen it. Tell me about your experience. Sometime you and I could be that flower, that beautiful flower that has not been found. Still hidden somewhere. Guess who is looking for us? Jesus is looking for us. The divine mercy is the time that reminds us that God is looking out for us. Mother Teresa of Calcutta always talks about it. God is seeking for you. God is waiting for you. God is longing for you. Seeking, waiting, longing for you and me to come back to God's house. So let us pray today for God's mercy to be revealed in us, that God's forgiveness may completely 
fill up hearts and minds so that not only receiving but also be giving forgiveness to those people. People that you think who have cost you so much and you always say they don't deserve forgiveness. Of course they don't deserve. If you ask yourself, do you deserve? Do you deserve God's mercy? Wow, that's huge. Every single day we are blessed with many blessings. And today is an opportunity for us to restore our relationship with God by receiving God's mercy. May the Lord God help us. May the intercession of um, Faustina help us so that we may test and see the goodness of God. Please stand for the prayer. I believe in one God.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and baptism, they may reach a unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks and to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of the walk to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, when he is, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are claimed. He took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered into the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember 
also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostle, St. Bernadette of Petronas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is you forever and ever. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
have in spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permitting to be separated. Ministry 
and Maria Chadburn is leading and she is here. You are more than welcome to talk to her about the details. The event committee will be hosting a dinner on Saturday, May 14th at 6.30 p.m. If you're interested, please call the office to restore the seat. Only two weeks to uh, buy the ticket. The family promise we still need our volunteers to help with our mission of supporting local families facing homelessness. Our first commitment begins a week of May 29th. There will be a Zoom training session on May 10th at 7 p.m. for all volunteers that will have direct contact with the families. Please see the information located at the, uh, the table as you leave at Mass. Now I want to ask you to watch this little video to get uh, more information about our uh, family promise. But after that, I will meet it in more healing, more comfort, especially to the wounded heart. If you have so much heaviness, or if you're afraid of death, or if you know somebody is dying, somebody is part of conversion, so bring them all in prayer. We're going to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet right now. But before that, the video. Most every parent will absorb the brunt of any rough economic situation in order to protect and provide for their children. Going cold so their kids can Making those kind of sacrifices gets even harder when there's no home to make them in, when family ends up on the streets. California has the largest number of people facing a challenging and frightening situation, more than 150,000 folks. Family Promise of San Joaquin County stepping in now with hope for the homeless. Families that are out there with me live to explain, we have Jory Wazdov and Kayla Thompson with Family Promise of San Joaquin County. Welcome to Fox 40 News at 11. Hi, thank you for having us. Thank you. Definitely. First off, a lot of folks may not have heard of Family Promise before. What is it and how does it work to help the homeless, Joy? Yeah, Family Promise of San Joaquin County is a new local affiliate of a national organization called Family Promise, which has a 30-year track record of success. There's over 200 affiliates across the country. So our organization begins with the idea that religious buildings often have a lot of space that goes unused most of the week. So even though our organization is secular, we partner with religious organizations to create a network of shelter. Congregations agree to shelter our guests overnight, provide food, hospitality, and volunteers for one week at a time, three to four times a year. Okay. So we can a little about I have a, another question, Kayla, and I'll ask this to yes. you. This is a truly special feature of the Family Promise model, right? Because in a lot of the situations, if mom and dad are still together, they have to split up to get services. Usually mom and kids in one shelter program and dad in another. And sometimes that happens within the same facility, but sometimes it's with a whole separate organization kind of destroying the last thing that lots of these folks have left, which is the family unit. The Family Promise allows the family to stay together. Yeah, absolutely. So we're accepting all families of any dynamic. So it could be a single mom, um, a mom and a dad, two dads. Um, we keep the unit together. So we don't want to separate the family. And yeah, we do our best to, to really support our families and fulfill the promise of keeping them together. In San Joaquin County, you all are working out to a very important. So much, please, Neil.
next slide, please. Most merciful Jesus, from the treasury of your mercy, you impact the grace in the great abundance to each and all. Receive us in the abode of your most compassionate heart, and never let us escape from it. We beg this grace of you by the most wondrous love for the Heavenly Father, with which your heart burns so fiercely. You told our Father that your mercy to gaze upon the faithful soul as upon the inheritance of your Son. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, grant them your blessing and surrender them with your constant protection. Thus, may they never fade in love or lose the treasure of your holy faith, but rather, with all the hosts of angels and saints, may they glorify your boundless mercy for endless ages. Amen. You expire, Jesus, by the source of life cut forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, and put up the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blessed water that gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blessed water that gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blessed water that gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We must be stay in the and pray. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Can you skip that? Our Father, who art in heaven, have the next one. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, was crucified, and it was buried. He descended into hell on the third day of the king from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Holy Spirit, and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection.
God with whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in a difficult moment we may not despair nor become despondent but with a great confidence summon ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Great and merciful God, infinite goodness, to the outline plan calls out from the office of the mystery, mystery that is Christ our gracious God, do not reject the prayers of this earth exile. O Lord, give us the honor of understanding, who are acquainted with our mystery through and through, and who know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate with us your grace and keep increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and death shield us from the darks of our salvation's enemies that we may with confidence as your children await your son's final coming that day known to you alone and we expect to obtain everything promised by Jesus in spite of all our resistance. But Jesus is our hope. Through him, merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Thank you all for joining, and we shall sing the benediction hymn, God the Miracle. Almighty God, the Father, the Creator, Son Jesus, the Redeemer. The Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier. 
Bless us all and keep us all safe. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Let's pray together from the beginning. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament on the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that carried him. Blessed be the great Father of God in every most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste mother. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Thank you so much. Please stand and sing the final hymn.